yeah guys it's uh just turned just turned uh, it's coming up to 29 minutes past midnight on the 4th it's just turned the 4th december 2024 uk uk time uh 29 minutes past midnight guys talking about lazar luminar technologies and as i called it right i called it right i said it was going to go down it's been going down guys luminar technologies the stock l-a-z-r ticker ticker l-a-z-r has been falling guys i called it right and not financial advice i think it's going to continue falling there's no good news coming from or about luminar technologies guys in my opinion just my opinion right that's why i'm not even going to trade it as a swing trade i don't want to be tied in i don't want to be thinking oh Oh, I bought Lazar, you know, Luminar Technologies and the price is falling. You know, it's falling. What should I do? Should I average down? Should I average lower? Because it can go really, really low, right? Not only $5, it can go under $5. And that's the whole point why the um, reverse split know was so large because it gives the company more time to stay alive on, on, on you know it gives them basically more time because once it you know I'm not saying it will but at the moment I see no future I see no you know no news no no good news coming for Lazar Luminar Technologies so whilst that continues, they want to stay obviously as long as possible. Because if, if basically, look, if people, people like have already pulled the plug, right? Let's face it. But if people start selling, selling, getting out, get, try to, I don't know, it depends what price they bought, uh, Luminar Technologies. But let's say they're already down 20, 30%. And they pull the plug. They say, you know what? I don't want to be in this, right? And they sell. They say, look, I'm going to take a loss. 20% loss is better than 80% loss, let's say. So let's say they, let's say they think like that, right? They say, look, let me get out 20% loss. I'll get it back on another stock. And everyone thinks the same stock can go down to like you know four dollars three dollars one dollar below one dollar etc etc right and look how bad that is it's happened it's happened to me like i'm you know like i'm not i'm superhuman i call it right most of the time but sometimes i get caught out on certain stocks that i got too i got too like um What's the word? Too, too not optimistic, but I took a chance. Let's say I got to, I took a chance. You know, I took a chance and it went wrong when I shouldn't have. Not to say I didn't call it right overall, like you know, in, like with prices, day to day, week to week. But in general, long term, on certain stocks, it didn't turn out good, and you know, Lazar. Luminar Technologies is one of the one of those stocks you can get a bad feeling about. You know, you can get a bad feeling about overall. I mean, at one stage, you know, I was hopeful. At one stage, I was hopeful, but then certain information came in, and I started to change my mind. You know started to change my mind about um luminar technologies that's why I, I that's why i sold that's why i got out i mean 
I think that there was a last rise, right? It went up. I think it was just after the um, split. I think it went up. I don't know how much, like, was it 50% or something like that. It quickly fell back down. Right, it was just the last kind of like hype, you know, the last kind of like trade to, to like get some out of it. I think people were, uh, you know, what they were doing. I got out before the um, split. I got out before the split and um, I was in quite big at one point. I think just before the split got out with a bit of profit but I called it right in fact I said it was going to go up before it did before the split you know before the split occurred so it did and um, as I say yeah I called it right and then obviously information came came my way etc and I said no, this is no good, you know. This is not looking good. I've got to get out of this, basically. And since then, as I say, information, like information, tells me it's no good. Luminar Technologies is not even good for, um, you know, for a swing trade. It's not even good for a swing trade. It's too risky. It's too risky, let's put it that way. So I'm out of it, but I don't see a future for it at the moment. Not financial advice. Not financial advice, but for Luminar Technologies, I was hopeful at one point, and I changed my, um, I changed my, uh, obviously I changed my view. Changed my views on it, you know. And that really sealed the deal, really. That, not sealed the deal, that really, you know, was the last straw, let's say, of all the bad news when they, when they did that split. That said, told me, that told me a lot, you know, that told me a lot. That's what they do when stocks are dying, you know? They split and, you know, and they, they, they you know, like they have, they have a split or they add more stock and um, that's it guys there's so many stocks that have died that way so many stocks that have died I could I could draw a list you know I could form a list of stocks present stocks that are still on the stock market some stock market that are basically dead living dead you know zombies call them zombie stocks and I could form a list of stocks that are no longer on the stock market that happen to them the same things you know that's what you've got to be careful of that's why sometimes you know more mostly investing in an index fund is like a long-term solution because you don't have that problem the stock dies say say like it is on the um it is in the in the fund it's in the index if it if it dies off it's only going to be replaced by another stock automatically so you don't lose out because you're not you're not in on any one or you know in any one individual stock it's like a collection of stocks the top top 50 or top 100 or top 250 or whatever so if a stock died off if it was in the top whatever if it died off it just gets replaced so you're not exposed to that risk if you know what I mean so you know there's more downside to come I can't say if it's going to go up at this stage I'm saying it's going to go down, you know. So if it's going to go down, I can't say anything good about it because there's no information. There's no, you know, there's no information, etc. Uh, there's no good information. 
this McDonald's is closed, but people, the drive through is closed and, and it's closed. I don't know the reason, but they, they, they try to get in, right? They bang on the door, you know, whatever. Maybe they want to use the um, conveniences, toilets. They try to get in, but it's closed. There's so many people driving in, the drive through is blocked. So when they drive in, they've got to turn around and go. I'm not sure of the reason. It's dark in the car park, right? So the lights are still on in the restaurant. Maybe they haven't got the staff, short of staff or whatever. I'm not sure. But this is like Luminar Technologies. This is like a sign for Luminar Technologies. This is like they're still the lights are still on, but there's no there's no action. No one's allowed in, and the drive through's not open, and the car parks the car park is dark. It's like no trade, you know. It's it's like a sign for Luminar Technologies. So that's why I'm not investing in Luminar Technologies because look how bad it is, guys. Look how bad it is. It's almost at five dollars, really. That's the fifty percent loss. If you would have bought in at uh, you know a dollar, a dollar turns to ten, and you're still holding, and then now it's going to go down to five dollars then it's 50% loss in a short period of time, you know? So it's not looking good for Luminar Technologies, guys. And there's no real good news about it that I can see of. I've mentioned this before in previous videos. There's no, you know, there's no news that, that says that it's worth investing. It's worth taking a position in luminar technologies so that's why i'm out i'm not in I'm, I'm out of it right i don't want to be tied into dead stocks it's happened to me in the past right i've invested in stocks that have turned dead that's why i'm not doing it anymore right and um you know you learn by your mistakes etc uh, so Luminar, it's, it's over for them, I think. It's over because look, a lot of car companies, I'm not just talking about EV, because they don't just go in EV, they go in non-EV, any cars, right? Like any cars, uh, autonomous or not autonomous, doesn't matter. Any cars, a lot of car companies they develop their own technology right and luminar see there's competition already there's competition the fact that there's other companies right and so because there's other companies there's competition and stronger competition Right, the competition stronger. And Luminar, they're in trouble. They're laying off staff, they're in trouble. Obviously, like the people at the top, they're out of it. Like, they're out of it with big profits, right? And they're long gone. But that's what happens a lot of the time. They build up a company. It's a pump and dump, right? They build up a company let everyone know it's like the best, you know, whatever, best technology. It's like no one else has got it and something special. And everyone thinks it's going to go to the moon. And it did go to the moon, didn't it? Right. And then it crashed. And then they had their money out of it. They're long gone. Right. You believe them or whatever. Or other 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 investors believe them at back and you know in, at the time, and it all they got their money, got their profit. They don't care, right? And obviously, it's all dying. It's all dying now, and they don't care. Um, 
basically there's so much debt, so much problems in the company, not enough contracts. And as I said, other, other car manufacturers, manufacturers building their own technology, right? They don't need Luminar, right? They build their own technology, guys. So this is it. This is it. That's why I'm not in it long term, right? Or short term. I'm not going to trade it. It's too risky. Drop in 50% in a short time, right? It's actually dropped over 50%. If you if you include that spike that occurred after the after the split, you can see that it dropped, you know, it's dropped below 50%. No one's gonna trade that. You know, no one's gonna trade that, right? It's just going to keep going down, in my opinion. Down and down and down. And that's the point. So, anyway, guys. Like, I've tried my best with Luminar. I've predicted more or less every move. I said when it was going to go up, when it was going to go down. Right from the start of my videos. About Luminar Technologies, as you know. Right, you can go back and listen to my videos on Luminar when I said it was going to go up, when I said it was going to go down. I've traded it, I've even invested in it at one point and then pulled the plug. Right, so as you know, like I've called it right. You can check all of my videos on Luminar Technologies, but if anything changes, right, if anything changes and i come across some information about luminar technologies that that you know could be worth telling you about that maybe i think the price is going to go up or if i see anything in the price action obviously i'll let you know beforehand hopefully you know i like to call it right i like to predict predict you know before it happens as you know i've done that with um other stocks and i've done that with neo stock you know that I predicted it nine times i got it right and with luminar technologies stock i've called it right you know um countless times you know going right back you can check my videos guys but i'm not investing and I'm not trading. I'm not even going to short it because it's too manipulated, right? And as I say, the big players—they've, uh, you know, they've had their profits, etc. And they pulled the plug on it a long time ago, right? And the problem is that, you know, that that COVID pump, right? That COVID pump in 2020, 2021, that I think that was a bad thing for long-term, you know, long-term investors for any stock, stocks that got pumped, used. I think it was a, lot, it was a bad thing, right? Um, so... That's what's happened. That's the situation with um, Luminar. As I said, if anything changes, I'll let you know. Right? I'll let you know if anything changes. But at the moment, I'm not investing and I'm out. I'm not, I'm not going to swing trade it, right? So anyway, guys, um, keep following the channel, right? Because if there's any new information, I'll tell you about it. And also, I'm going to be covering some other stocks, some new stocks, some new stocks uh, in the future. So let me know, guys, in the comments what you think about Luminar Technologies. Um, I know how you feel, guys, if you're losing 
if you're losing money or whatever, or if you lost money, I know how you feel. It's happened to me, right? But, as I say, let me know in the comments um, what your situation is. Let me know in the comments, but I can't give you financial advice, but maybe I can kind of like tell you what I would do or whatever, but I don't know. It's difficult without knowing all the facts and everything. Let me know what your average is, true average, you know, because now there's been a split. Let me know what your true average is, Illuminar Technologies, and how many shares you've got, you know, true shares currently, um, <clears throat> Illuminar Technologies. And also, if you know, like, if you've got your stock if you're holding stock luminar technologies on one trading account let me know what your trading account says how much you're down you know as well as how many stock you got and what average price let me know what it says if you're down on it you know your percentage how much you're down etc uh, let me know guys in, in the comments right and check out my other videos about other stocks and uh, Neo stock and lots of other stocks there guys as well lots of other stocks and more stocks to come let me know guys